This is going to be a quick five minute video showing you all the different image input methods that are used in Java Studio's ModX websites. These are going to cover normal image inputs, image plus with cropping, using images in MIGX, and of course, the best till last, ModMores Gallery. So if we just navigate to our manager and sign in, and click on the home resource. Underneath here I've put a couple of different things, the mod more gallery is ready to go, template variables in different places, and a demo page. So the first thing is how do we actually get an image into ModX? There's a couple of ways. The first is by doing it through one of these input type template variables, or the second is using the media source. Clicking on the files tab will present you with folders. From here you can create directories. So rename directories and you can also remove directories. Let's create a new directory. If we now right click we have the option to upload files. Clicking choose files will bring up our manager. And from here we can pick individual images or by using the command or control we can select multiples. This adds images into the list. Clicking the upload button will upload them into the folder. They're now there. Hovering will show a preview. These files are now available when you click and select. You also have the option to be able to click and also upload from here. It's done in exactly the same way. So if we just quickly save our page and reload our test, we'll see that we've got our normal image. You can click and change this accordingly and it will update. The next input type is Image Plus. Image Plus is really handy because it allows you to crop images on the fly. You select images in the same way, but then you're presented with a crop window. From here you can change whatever you want the image to be. Let's go ahead and make this one square. Clicking update, I can then put some text in for the SEO alt text. Pressing save, we'll then present the cropped image on the front end. Let's just go ahead and do this one more time with a different one. Let's pick something which is much bigger. If we don't crop the image, you'll see that the image is humongous. But let's now go ahead and crop it down to make it a little bit better. Here we go. The next input type is MIGX and using images inside of MIGX. MIGX allows for gridular content, so you can add as many items of an image as you want. This is quite handy for uh, people that have used MIGX for a while to make things like galleries and sliders. Let's go ahead and add in an image. Let's now select, just like we would for a normal one, and click Done. Let's go ahead and add another. And let's add in another. And let's just go ahead and duplicate Iron Man. If we now click Save, you can see that the gridular items are represented. The last input option is the Mod More Gallery. 
there's two ways that you can import images. The first is by manually uploading. Well, the second is selecting images that are already existing in the file system. Let's just reload. But what makes Meldmore Gallery really cool is the ability to drag and drop. I'm just going to go and drag all of these in. And if I now press save, they're now all there for me. I can then change the order, move things around, and it will be updated on the front end. Hope that you found this useful. If you need any help with images, then by all means get in touch.